Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Instructs on this Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 13, and it's called For the Girl That Has Everything. So we start off with Kara is actually on Krypton, and turns out um, she's unconscious and a plant took over, and she's lying on her room floor. And uh, Kara didn't show up for work, which is super unusual, and it turns out she's actually in a coma. And Alex goes into Max's cell and literally confronts him about Kara and punches him and gets really aggressive. Then his shot breaks it off. And then we find out that Nan, which is um, the wife of the twin, which I can't remember her name right now, which I feel bad about. <laughs> and it turns out he was behind it and it's called the Black Mercy, which basically puts you in a coma but gives you everything that your heart desires. So Alex tries to remove it from Kara, but she starts seizing up, and it turns out they can't really do anything until she snaps out of it herself. And then um, Kara doesn't believe that she's on Krypton. She's starting to figure out that it's not real, but little by little, she's starting to believe it a little bit. Then Wynn is playing the blame game, but um, he snaps out of it and tries to cover for Kara. And tries to cover for her in front of Kat. It's not great. So Cat uh, gives her an hour. She doesn't show up an hour. She's fired. And so Alex talks to Henshaw to shapeshift into Kara. <laughs> and so he does that. And it's Cat versus Kara. Um, Alex, I mean, John is not used to someone talking down to him like that. But he's got to imitate Kara. And he's not very good at it. <laughs> and then Alex gets mad at the hologram of... I want to say Alora. Is that the right one? I, let me check. Hang on. Okay, it, I was right, but Astra is the wife of, of Nan. Okay, there we go. So basically, uh, we cut back to where Astra... Um, okay. Start off with, uh, she's mad at the hologram of Alora, and so she goes back to the um, the apartment, and then we got to a car starting to believe that she actually is on Krypton, and the reason um, Alora is telling her in the dream that she had a fever and that she was imagining the planet blowing up and was on Earth and the whole thing, so basically she woke up from a fever dream. So then we go back to where Alex is at the apartment. Then Astra shows up and helps her and tells her that Kara has to reject the fantasy. And then we cut to where Kara uh, apologizes to Kat and uh, gives, uh, basically uh, wants to take the day off and gives a uh, sob story. Kat is still pissed at her, but lets her go. Then Max agrees to help with every uh, with Kara, and then we hear about the Madrid, uh, the Myriad project, and then Alex goes into Kara's subconscious, uh, thanks to Max, and basically tells when do not pull her, uh, do not pull out Alex under any cir circumstances, and then Wynn has an idea about the satellite. And then we have Kara doesn't believe Alex when she shows up in the dream. And then Alex starts to seize and Henshaw wants to pull her out. But Jane says stop him. And he agrees to stop. Then Alex pleads with Kara and she's starting to remember. And as she's starting to remember, basically like the plant starts to shake some more and everything. And that's like the fun. So... She's starting to remember and says goodbye to her family, including like a teenage um, Clark Kent at, or what was Kal El, yeah, and to like everything. And then the Black Mercy is off. Then Kara gets hella pissed, like hella pissed off. And then Wynn found the connection with the satellites. And then we have Super going after Nan. Then we have Alex versus Astra versus John. And then we find out that um, during that fight, Alex stabs her, um, Astra, and kills her um, as she's dying. Uh, Supergirl talks to her, and it's like a super touching scene. 
And basically saying that um, in the dream that Astro was actually family and not an enemy. Then she died and Henshaw said that he did it. And yeah, that's basically the end of the episode. Which wasn't a crazy episode. I'm going to give this episode an A+. Plus. I really enjoyed this episode, but the whole thing with Car, I mean, with John trying to outlay Car was hysterical, and I loved it. And um, the whole touching scene at the end was really touching. I really was moved by that, so that was really good. Uh, overall, it was just a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. You get to see Krypton and how stuff was there. And it was just really, really, really cool. So I really enjoyed it. So... That's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Any other suggestions for any other TV shows or movies or music? Also, let me know down below. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.